Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to be watching an interesting video on narcissistic women. Let's watch. ...of narcissistic women. And what's happened is the rise of social media and the rise of online dating and the rise of feminism has taught women that they are not to blame for any poor choices. Every poor choice is glamorized. So if you want to be a sex worker, it's great. If you want to post in bikini pictures online, it's fine. If you want to be in with it, every poor choice is glamorized and every internal reflection is seen as gaslighting yourself. So they've even got terms for internal reflection to prevent it happening. And so what will happen is they are trained to not reflect on themselves because we've been told we've been oppressed for so many years now it's time to make sure we project and so we don't take any accountability and as a result when we get into relationships if we don't feel completely soothed all the time he must be a narcissist he must be a manipulator he must be gaslighting he 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 rather than i i i we've created a generation of listen <laughs> I don't th listen this is guys listen this is just a strictly a video on women i don't want to hear do not come in my comment section saying what about the men this is not about them okay i make video about men i make video about women today's women okay y you got your attention today so enjoy it love it soothe it if you want to watch a video about men go watch another video okay i don't want to see it if i see it in my comment section i will come to you and give you a very, very strict talking to. And you don't want that. Trust me on that. I'm going to bring a pair of glasses, a briefcase. It's going to be goofy. All right. So back to the video at hand. All right. So when it comes to women being narcissistic and the whole thing about social media, if you get in a bikini, if you're butt naked on OnlyFans, well, what is all this? I have to agree. A lot of stuff is not... When it, when it comes to being promiscuous and all this stuff, it's like women get glamorized for all of that. When we remember Lizzo shaking her booty at an NBA game. Now, a lot of people were disgusted, but nobody cared enough. You know, they were just, ah, it is what it is. It's just like to the point where I think there is something about being classy. There is something about um, having some kind of modesty. I don't think it makes you more of a classy person to just put your booty cheeks out there every chance you get it's just it, to me it just doesn't make any sense it doesn't make you a better person it doesn't make you more in love with yourself it's probably going to make you only more insecure you're only going to come across people who only love you for your body and then you'll get upset that men only want to talk to you about your body because that's all you ever offer i'm being honest with you if you're putting yourself on only fans you're putting yourself on instagram and every time we see you you're dang near half naked or naked it's just like what do you expect men to want from you you think they're going to think I'm sure she's a great person to be around. I'm sure her personality is great. I mean, the only time I ever see her is when she's doing seductive things, but maybe I should want her for something else. It's just uh, like logically that makes no sense. I don't care what else you have to offer. The fact that you're offering that to everybody is glamorized. Now, back to the part where she says if they're being sued, if she gets with a man who doesn't get to her every whim. I saw a post the other day on X that was talking about if your girl, if your wife asks you for Starbucks, or no, if you ask your wife for Starbucks, she, she says no, you should know her well enough to know that she does want Starbucks. And then I went into the comment section and everything everybody says to the lady would be like, be like, oh, well, I thought that if my wife meant no, it meant no. Then she'd be like, you should know her well enough to know that she didn't mean no. And Matt Walsh put on there and he was like, uh, no, I don't play those games. I completely agree. I don't do that. You know, uh, me and my wife had discussions in the very, very beginning before we were ever married. Um, and this is stuff you should talk to with your girlfriend or fiance. Uh, just just to make sure that y'all on the same page, not not in a rude way, not like you better not play games, girl. More of a. Hey, listen, I'm a pretty straightforward individual. Uh, if you need something, if you want something from me, please ask. And if I ask you, please give me a straight answer. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to have to play games. I don't want to have to be like, oh, I should have known. I don't want to do that because that puts a lot of strain on the marriage because I'm asking you stuff sincerely. Like, do you want something to eat? Or, hey, would you like to do this? Or, hey, how are you doing today? Are you okay? I don't need you to be telling me no. I don't need you to be telling me, uh, 
No, I'm fine. I don't need you to be telling me lies and expect me to know that you're doing well because that puts more strain on the relationship. And especially when we have kids involved, I, we don't need the confusion. You don't want to be confusing the kids to think you're okay and our relationship is doing okay. Um, it just to have this big tension between you and I and the kids will be able to see that. If I'm supposed to be helping taking care of the family, if I'm supposed to be providing for the family, providing for the kids, trying to keep the maintenance of the house, trying to keep the maintenance of the yard, trying to make sure everything else is going on, going on financially while all trying to do my job well enough to make sure that I can keep my job and all these other stuff. If I'm trying to be the best person I can be every day, every day, I don't think it's great for you to put on added stress onto me because I'm thinking about if you really meant yes or no. That this doesn't help anything. That makes me less productive. It makes you less productive. And all we do is end up getting upset with each other because I'm supposed to just know that when you say no, it means yes. And when you say yes, it means no. So let's go ahead and get that out the way right now. So it, it shouldn't be a man's job to make everything in your life. They're not supposed to be your therapist and then also be the best in bed or also being the provider or also being the nicest guy you ever met. And they need to be able to play guitar, sing, play the piano and be able to write poems. It's like you can't expect the man to suit everything that you see in these goofy movies. You've got to learn at some point to be an adult. And I mean that sincerely, but some women, they act like they need to be baby 24-7. But we see when men act that way, I mean, we know we can't, but if men act that way, they get called mama boys, mama boys, right? Mama boy, right? They get called that or they get called sensitive or they get or you get you hear this a lot when women say, hey, it feels like I'm taking care of a whole nother kid. <laughs> That's the problem. Is that you want us to take care of you like you're a child. But if we were to act the exact same way, you would put us on blast on the Internet and say how it, we're like taking care of another kid. Grow up. I mean, the women on these social media apps are just goofy. And I'm not saying a lot of women are like that because most women I've come across, I'm sure most women you come across don't act like these women that you see online. But that's social media. Most people don't act like the people you see online. This this fantasy of pranking and being this and being really superficial and narcissistic, you really only see that in teenagers. You don't tend to see that in adults in the real world. But you see some of these women really take this a lot further than it is. But I do want to say, if I want to be encouraging, what you see from the red pill community and all these other communities that think that most women are just sleeping with a bunch of guys, a bunch of women. Statistically, you have more people sleeping with each other, but statistically, a lot of people ain't sleeping with each other anymore too, Right. So, yeah, if we go back to the 1960s, I'm sure more women are sleeping with men. But to say that it's just going up, more people are not even really talking to each other anymore. People barely get in relationships. So I want to be encouraging to tell you that the red pill will tell you that every woman is a whore. Every woman's out here doing crazy things. Every woman hates men. It's not that way out here. Most women really do respect men. Most women do understand what men do. But it's the women that you see on the Internet who feel like they want to make money or they want to be a grifter or they really some of them kind of believe what they believe. Or, you know, people out there, guys, we know women who are going to be single the rest of their lives. It's just that it seems like on the Internet, it gets glamorized. But in real life, when you see a woman, you know, will never have anybody. You just sad. You're like, oh, yeah, she'll never get anybody. And you move on about your life. That's how it really works out here. So if I want to be encouraging most women I have met, I'm sure most women you have met are not like the women you see on the internet. The internet clout does something to somebody, okay? It psychologically messes them up. But let me know what you think. Am I wrong? Are most women terrible? Put it down in the comment section down below. I'm gone. Peace.